What a fascinating creature. Not many people have seen a gopher dig from a side view. Gophers live most of their life underground, and it's really fun to see in our gopher farm how they dig tunnels. Take a look at these dirt mounds that are popping up in this field. This can only mean one thing, which is we have a gopher problem. And even though gophers leave such visible signs from their underground destruction, not many people have seen a living example of these furry underground pests. Well, today for Mouse Trap Monday, we're going to take a close look at these fascinating creatures known as pocket gophers, which are rodents with huge front teeth that are perfectly adapted for digging through the hard clay soil in search of the roots that they feed on. Now, my biggest complaint about gophers is not that they destroy crops, but rather the numerous dirt mounds they leave in my yard, which makes mowing my grass a very dusty and dirty task. So whenever I see new sign that a gopher has moved in, I quickly deal with the problem before they can become established. Now it's important to know that gophers are not the only pests that dig up a yard. Other possible culprits could include a smaller cousin to the gopher known as a vole, which also lives in underground tunnels. But unlike gophers, they leave a network of open holes that make your yard look like Swiss cheese. Another possibility could mean that you have moles, which also leave dirt mounds. The way you tell the difference between a mole hill and a gopher mound is, a mole will dig a hole to the surface and push out dirt in every direction. Kind of like a volcano spewing lava, it makes a perfect mound or cone-shaped dirt pile. But gophers do something very different. As they clear out their tunnels, they dig a hole to the surface at an angle and push out the dirt like a bulldozer to one side. This creates a dirt pile that's semicircle or crescent shape. Now the reason gophers are constantly pushing new dirt to the surface is because they create a vast underground tunnel system that can be several hundred feet in length. This can be seen in a diagram created in 1918 by a naturalist named H.M. White. He decided to take on the labor-intensive task of excavating an entire gopher tunnel system by hand. After an extensive amount of digging, he finally caught the single solitary gopher that created this vast network tunnel system that included caches filled with plant roots he also found excrement heaps that the gopher was using as a toilet and a nesting area. Earlier this year, I was able to live catch a mole, and in that video, we set up a special dirt-filled box I called a mole farm. That video was extremely popular and quickly gained several million views, so I thought it'd be fun to try out the same thing with a gopher. And all I have to do is catch one alive. Here's our trap. As I checked online, there's not many options on the market for live catch traps specifically designed for catching gophers. It's made of solid metal, it has wire welded on the bottom, and the whole thing's covered in a coating that protects the metal. Now I bought this trap from Gophers Limited. They say their live catch trap is great for researchers, teachers, and non-violent gardeners. And to catch gophers, you don't use bait. Instead, you place the trap in the tunnel, there's a spring-loaded door in front, and in back, there's a trigger screen with a rod. You lift up the door, pull forward the screen, and that holds it open. Now that's a perfect tunnel for a gopher to go through. Now gophers don't like fresh air or sunlight in their tunnels. So if you open it up, they'll come along and try to block it. They'll kick the dirt and as they do, it will release the door. Get my hand caught in there. So let's go set up the gopher trap, and see if we can catch a pocket gopher. Now I found there's several key factors to making this live catch trap work. First of all, you wanna start in an area with fresh gopher activity where they have loose dirt that's pushed to the surface. Then we're gonna dig down to the tunnel. You don't want it at an angle where the gopher will have to climb up. So we're gonna dig down with our shovel, place the trap in there, and then cover it up so there's light in the back screen and the gopher will come along, go inside the tunnel, push the dirt, and get caught with the door. We found the gopher's tunnel. Now remember, they dig at an angle, so when you find the pile of dirt, you have to go down to find the main tunnel. It's right here. Now I also found you want to have loose dirt at the bottom so you can move the trap side to side and push that dirt in there so the gopher's not walking on metal. Instead, it's walking on dirt and it feels more natural. We'll go ahead and set the trap. You can make this more of a hair trigger by pushing that screen back just a little. We'll line up the opening with the door so there's a smooth transition. And then I'm gonna backfill the trap like this. That way the gopher will crawl down its tunnel, see that light, push dirt towards the back screen, and when it's inside the trap, it will get caught. We'll make sure to come back and check on this often to see if we catch a gopher. So it's been several weeks and I've found it to be very challenging to live catch a gopher. 
I've set up the trap over two dozen times and each time I found a trap filled with dirt but no gopher. I've set up this trap before to catch moles and work well. But I do want to mention there's many many different gopher species and most of them are much smaller than the ones I'm trying to catch. Here in western Oregon we have one of the largest gopher species in the genus. It's called a camas pocket gopher and its body size might be too big for this trap. A larger version would work better. So this trap might work well for smaller gophers but here it's a real challenge. But after setting it up so many times with failures I finally caught one. I hear a gopher moving inside and I can't wait to take a look. So let's go back to the filming studio and I'll show you the gopher we caught in our live catch gopher trap. So here's the pocket gopher we caught. This one's being pretty tame. It has huge teeth in front so I want to watch out. Now their eyes are bigger than moles and their ears are larger as well but they have whiskers in front and the claws for digging. These are expert diggers and they use those teeth especially to dig through roots. Now this one's pretty calm. It doesn't like being above ground. It wants to be in tunnels. So we're going to place it in our gopher farm and watch it dig. Okay we have loose dirt and sawdust down below. Let's place our gopher in there and see how it digs tunnels. I'm going to start a tunnel for him. Ooh, he's hissing. Let's show him his tunnel over here. Not many people get to see a gopher dig from a side view. This is a great gopher farm, kind of like an ant farm, where you can watch him make the tunnels. He scrapes away the dirt and then pushes it up. Well it was really fun watching him dig, but I can't keep our gopher as a pet. It's a native species and there's laws against keeping wild animals in captivity. So instead, because we watched him dig, we're going to take him out in the wild far away from where he can do any damage and set him free. Thanks gopher for showing us how you dig tunnels. Okay gopher, here's your new home. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button. I've posted over 600 videos on YouTube and currently I'm posting new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to see the best videos on how to catch mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.